Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at cube maps, and how they are going to fix our lighting, and when to use them, and so forth and so forth. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to say, like always, uh, if you have any issues with this tutorial, like you run into any problems, or uh, you need help, uh, post down in the comments below or click the description and join the Discord and the community or myself will do the best that we can to help you out. Okay, so first off, what is a cube map? Well, a cube map is basically a collection of images around. Um, so actually, you know what? So basically, we place it, think of it kind of like this light. It captures a six sided or six sides. And it will use the cube map to do reflections within the level. Now, keep in mind that these are not real-time reflections. Uh, these are uh, pre-baked. And as well, another caveat to this is in Left 4 Dead 2, their max size is 256 by 256. And the player's resolution needs to be four times whatever the resolution uh of the cube map is the other thing is is that cube maps uh can take up quite a lot of space uh and you will need a fair bit of them uh as we develop and make this level bigger we will place more and more and more cube maps so how do we make a cube map well first we go over to our entity tool and then we go over to environment uh, objects here and we type env underscore c and then up here you'll see cube map and then all we want to do is we just want to uh, actually, the first thing we want to do is set our grid back to 32. And then we just want to place it roughly where the light is. I'm going to place it directly under the light. And then we're just going to hit enter. And here is our cube map. Now, if we were to run this, it would automatic, like it would already be working. Like this area would be much better. Um, and if we open it up, we double click and open it up. You can change the cube map size from default and you can set quite a few different options. We're just going to leave it at default, um, which I think is 32 by 32. As well, I would like to point out that in the description, there's a wiki link and I put them in there all the time in almost every video uh, that has very much in-depth information about specifically what it does and all of the options. And you can go back and reference it anytime you like. And you can also just go search it. The wiki is pretty well thought out. Uh, so this cube map size will work. Um, you can also attach the uh, like the brush face directly to the cube map. We're not going to bother with this. That'll be another later tutorial. Um, now, for this room, since it's rather basic and simple, and the only other thing it's really going to have in it at this point is a door, uh, we'll just leave the cube map size to 32 by 32. But, for example, on the other side of the door, we're probably going to put a cube map, and then later down the hallway because I already have a bit of an idea on how this is going to look, we're going to place another one. And then, you know, when you have a turn, you're going to need to place another one. So you can't just put one cube map in the level. You're going to have to put several cube maps in order for things to render properly. So let's go ahead and just run the map and just see what it looks like. If everything went, you know, as planned, uh, we should see that the ammo has proper uh, baked-in reflection, which is great and very wonderful. We just have to, you know, give it a second to do its do its loading as Left 4 Dead is a little famous for. I have an NVMe drive, but it doesn't seem to really help. Okay. And now you can see ammo. that the ammo here is now rendering perfectly. Uh, as well, the gun model is a little better, and the reflection and the on uh, my character's skin is much better. They look a little better, but yeah. Okay, so that's that. That is literally all there is to it. And like I said, you know, there will be more to do with cube maps, but as we build the level, we'll interact with it as we go. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't forget, join the Discord if you need help. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, you can click the little join button. Or you can go in the description, click one of the join links, or at one of the end cards, there's a dollar sign, and you can support the channel by becoming a member. And if you become a member, you get member-exclusive videos, and you get all my videos, uh, early access, before they come out, 
before anyone else gets to see them. Members get to see them first. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This was a quick one. And the next one, we'll finally get to the weapons. We'll finally get to the good stuff. Uh, I will see you all again in the next one. And uh, have a lovely day, night, evening, whatever time it happens to be.